All right. So we're going to talk about parabolas, and we're going to talk about them in a different light than we've seen them before. We've, we've used an equation like this before where we call it vertex form. Sometimes the minus k was on this side, or sometimes we moved the k over to the other side, and it was like this, where it was the opposite for the x, and then exactly how we thought about it for the y. And so if the k is with the y, it's opposite for both of them. And so if it's x minus 5, then 5 would be the x-coordinate for the vertex, so on and so forth. So what I want to do, we're going to talk about the geometric definition of the parabola, but I'm going to graph it first. Remember that if um, it's x squared, parabolas can open up or down. And if it's positive, the parabolas open and so they open something like this. And again, if you wanted to plot points, you could do 1, 1 squared is 1, times 1 fourth would give you 1 fourth, and so on and so forth. But our effort is not to plot points, but to talk about different things that parabolas have. Geometric definition is that any point on the graph this point or this point, um, every point on the parabola are the same distance from this directrix as they are from a point called the focus. And this line is called the directrix. We're going to say that this is about, well, specifically for this one, it's, it's one away, um, but we'll come a, a little bit closer to that. So a parabola is a set of all points equidistant, the same distance, from a fixed line that we call the directrix, and a fixed point on the line called the focus. So parabolas are pretty cool because everything that comes in gets reflected towards the focus. And so we use parabolic shaped satellite dishes because everything goes towards the focus and this is the receiving part. Um, and so first thing, uh, also this point right here we call the vertex. And so Nothing's changed about the shape of it, but we've added this focus and we've added a directrix. So the vertex in the middle, otherwise known as midpoint, of focus and directrix. In this case, this is at 1, and this is at y equals negative 1. And so what we do is p is equal to 1. p usually stands for distance to focus. From vertex to focus. And so in this case, how would we get the one fourth? Um, our a value that's in our equation is equal to one over four p, and so p is equal to one, and so a is one fourth. You can multiply by the um, if a is equal to one fourth, it's one fourth equals one over four p. So p has to be the one. So. A parabola has a focus of 4, negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. And a directrix of y equals 1. So that would be up here. So if this is the focus, and this is the directrix, the vertex has to be right in the middle of those two. How do we find it? Well y equals 1, so let's pay attention to the y coordinate, and negative 3 plus 1, average them together, so that's negative 2 divided by 2, so that's negative 1. 
So the vertex is 4, negative 1. Vertex of a parabola. It's five, negative 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So that's the vertex. Directrix is y equals negative 2. So that's this one. Find the focus. Well, so then we're 1, 2, 3 away from the vertex. The focus has to be on the opposite side, 1, 2, 3. And so your parabola is going to open up. And so your focus has to be negative 5. And we went up 3, and so let's go up another 3, 4 for the focus. So really it's all relative placement for it. So let's talk a little more detail in about how all of these equations look. So if the distance between the vertex and the focus of a parabola is, let's call this P. I'm going to use the, the P to represent the distance to the focus. Then it can be shown that A is equal to 1 over 4P. A is the same A that we used before. Same A in AX squared plus BX plus C. That's still a parabola and it is the same parabola. We're just going to be dealing with it mostly in vertex form like this. We'll be completing the square later. So again, reminder, if A is positive, it opens up. If A is negative, parabola opens down. Reminder that HK is our vertex. There's nothing new there. And so if it's uh, Y, well, and we'll get into that. Um, I'm not going to deal as much with this. But just keep in mind that you can have a parabola that um, opens up, and you can have a parabola that opens down. And if it opens up, Focus is going to be up here, directrix is going to be down here, and this is P away. And this is P away. And the P again comes from how it's related to A like that. It also opens down, same kind of deal. This is P away, and the directrix is P away. The one thing we're going to add to this is that you can change it so that the y is squared. If y is squared, it can open to the right. If a is positive, it's going to open to the positive side. Positive x's are to the right, and it can open to the left. So this is the y equals a x squared equation. Positive a x squared. This is the y equals negative a x squared. If x equals a positive a y squared, it opens to the right. Vertex, I'm uh, sorry, focus is still p away. Still p away. And x can equal a negative a y squared, and that's when it opens to the left, the negative side. And all I'm doing is quickly graphing these, but so you have a, a p value and whatever p is there. These equations are good, but all it is is relative placement. Reminder that an, there's an axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry goes right through it you can flip it over it on itself. And it goes right through the vertex, and so it's going to be related to whatever the vertex is. Sometimes it's a horizontal line, and sometimes it's a vertical line. So, we'll take a break and catch you on the other side.